Detroit artists back home tonight with an art exhibit that some might consider controversial. A Confederate flag was burned during the art performance in Midtown. The event commemorates the 50th anniversary of the 1967 riots in Detroit. Priya Mann is live outside the gallery, and this comes as the Confederate flag continues to make news all across the country, Priya. Well, that's right. Just consider in recent weeks, New Orleans has been removing Confederacy statues at the same time Alabama has passed legislation protecting its Confederate history. Now, participants here in Midtown, they say this isn't a Southern issue, but something that needs to be tackled nationwide. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. A Confederate flag was destroyed in a provocative new exhibit by Detroit artist John Sims. It's been around right, in a zombie kind of way for 150 years. And uh, so you hit it from both sides, the very obvious and the things that are way more subtle um, and hideous to sort of deal with. The aptly titled Burn and Bury Memorial was held at the Nanandi Center in Midtown. It's like a, a dialogue. I think it's maybe worth having. I don't think it will change anyone's mind immediately, but I do think it's something that is worth having. Well, some may consider the exhibit controversial. To others, that's the point. What is very respectful to somebody is blasphemous to somebody else. So you've got to start somewhere. The exhibit coincides with the 50th anniversary of the 1967 riots in Detroit and specifically held on Memorial Day. I mean, sort of generalizing the notion of soldiers to social work, social justice workers and soldiers. They have fought. The Martin Luther Kings, the Malcolm X, the folks who have been soldiering for justice for a very long time. Where's their day? Today is their day. And if you'd like to learn more about this exhibit, we have information on clickondetroit.com. Reporting live from Midtown, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya, thanks.